Hello, this is Grandmaster Ted Gambardella with some alarming news about Brock Lesnar's surgery. I spent a couple of hours yesterday with a very prominent Dallas intestinal surgeon and asked him about Brock Lesnar's conditions and what possible kind of surgery he could have had. I told him that the Brock had diverticulitis and that his intestine had been leaking into his stomach. And what the surgeon told me was rather alarming. Uh, he said that if the intestines were leaking into the stomach, the surgeon would have had to have cut into Brock's ad abdomen wall. He would have had to removed or repaired part of the bad colon, and he would have had to attach a colostomy bag. The bowels would no longer function so that Brock would be allowed to heal naturally. That means that Brock Lesnar, if this happens, and we're not certain, but from every indication from this surgeon and from the fact that he was in the hospital 11 days and the fact that it is being reported that his bowels were indeed leaking into his stomach, there is simply no other alternative if he had surgery. So that means that Brock Lesnar is wearing a colostomy bag. Now that's good news because that means that intestines can be allowed to heal naturally and we're going to pray that they do. But he also told me something that was the more alarming part. Brock Lesnar will lose probably 50 to 100 pounds while he heals. Because he no longer will be able to digest his food normally because your intestines are responsible for digesting all your food and supplying all the nutrition to your body. Since his intestines are being blocked high up near his stomach, he essentially will lose about a hundred pounds. So that is rather alarming news, but at the same time it's, very, it's hopeful news because he said that this would indicate if he's out of there and they're not reporting something very serious that he will heal and that he could fight again. It'll just take him months, maybe even a year to recover completely from such a devastating surgery. Keep rocking your prayers. Keep checking back. I'll keep you posted on anything new that we find out.